Hey everyone, Ed here from The Great Indoors, and today me and Michelle are in Sheffield, Ohio, outside of the Royal Grill Sushi Buffet. And um, I was referred to by Freddie Cellophane. He was watching one of my videos and he goes, hey Ed, now that you got Michelle a cat, take her and get some Chinese food. So here we are, by request, by Freddie, we're gonna go check out this Royal Grill Sushi Buffet that just opened maybe a week or two ago. So this will be the first time we've ever been here. I can see right away that they took out all the carpeting that was in there. Oh yeah, the buffet is still in there. I don't know if you guys could see it. It made me always laugh when I saw these goldfish that they had in this pond. It was like a bridge that went over it. And I always said to Michelle, if, they, if the buffet ever runs out of seafood, they could always get the fish out of the, uh, out of the pond and cook them up because they were so big, big pieces of fish. I mean, they were big goldfish like, like, like that. Okay, let's get in there and check out Royal Buffet. Oh, just what I wanted to find out, whether the water fountain is still here, it is still a thing. But they did get rid of all the carpeting that was in here at one time. This was all carpeted, now no more. Look at that. Very cool. So what do you think, Michelle? Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah, no carpeting anymore. Look at Michelle's new pants for her Christmas. Ooh. All right. Very, uh, very stylish. Old. All right, we gonna get a table? Yes. All right, two please. All right. Okay, let's check out the buffet. Okay, they got the buttered potatoes here, the sweet and sour chicken. Be careful, some of the stuff is in length. Peanut chicken, but that does not look like peanut chicken. That just looks like chicken wings over there. So I don't think that's correct either. They actually have some pizza here, Michelle. What do you think? Oh, they do have the salmon though? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we remember coming here when it was a new Chinatown buffet. So, crab rangoons. I don't think that's crab rangoon. If that is crab rangoon, it's a different kind of crab rangoon. That looks like like more like an egg roll or a spring roll or something like that. So yeah, I don't think they got the thing. This is crab rangoon over here. And that's the fried donuts and chicken on a stick. Sorry, excuse me. They got their little seafood section over here with their little shrimp and uh, imitation crab meat. This, that looks like stuffed shrimp over there. Here, show us the wontons, Michelle. Okay. Yeah, they're picked over. Is that hot? I think so. No, I like that. Soup. Corn on the cob, black pepper chicken, some mushrooms sauteed, string beans, white rice lo mein and some of that that uh, fried rice they do have sushi here that's good to know I'm a, I'm a sushi fan oh that's the good one they, well, they got the shredded crab meat on there awesome and this is where they would have the, the hibachi so you could take what you want over here put it on a plate and they'll cook it up for you but I'm going to try the buffet today. There's the rice noodles that I like so much. And they say they have frog legs, but that's probably more on the, uh, the dinner menu. This is still lunch over here. Thai chicken, peppered steak, Japanese chicken, General Salas chicken over there. And I think I showed you some of this stuff over here. All right. 
we used to clean the carpets here when it was still New Chinatown Buffet, mm -hmm. and Michelle's commiserating because they got rid of the carpeting, <laughs> and they also put in lighter chairs because she was the one that would have to move all the furniture out, and they're they're light. Oh, wait, yeah, they are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Too light. <laughs> so, what do you think of the, uh, the? What do you got there? You've got a little bit of everything, Michelle. Uh, the uh, seafood delight. It has crab meat. Sh uh, you should try that. Crab meat, shrimp. And, and a little bit of scallops. Yeah. Which is good. What is that in your hand right now? Uh, an egg roll. I thought it was crab raccoon, but uh, a different. Well, they, they, they mislabeled it. Here, give it a shot and see what it looks like. Here. Here, show us the inside of that. Well, what do you think? Is it Does it taste like a, a egg roll or a crab rangoon? An egg roll with a lot of sauerkraut. Oh, okay. Or whatever they mix it with. And I ended up getting a mozzarella stick over here. So I'm going to try that real quick. Okay. That looks like it's full of air. I don't think there's anything in there. Okay, maybe there's a little bit of cheese in there. Okay. All right. And I also went with the um, the seafood concoction with the imitation crab meat and the rice noodles over there. I'll let you guys know how that is after I've had it. The only thing I gotta say is that they need to label stuff correctly. Yeah, everything's mislabeled. Not everything, but a lot of the things are mislabeled. Okay, for my next plate, I decided to go with the Thai chicken. And you could see the, the seasonings that they got in there. It looks like it's going to be kind of on the spicy hot side. Got the onions in there, and the chicken. Is that like paprika in there? I don't know. Let's find out. How and I got the white rice to go with it. I'll just get a little bit of onion with there. Okay, how about that? Right there. Hey, that's pretty good. What is it? Like the Thai, Thai chicken. Okay. It's got a little kick to it, but it's not overwhelming though. I like that. And then try some of the rice. There we go. Mm. Very light and fluffy. It's very good. Where did you go the second go around, Michelle? Oh, you got the ribs over there. Is that like the, the boneless ribs on there? The ribs are really good. The salmon again, green beans. Okay, that's the salmon steak. right there. And pepper steak and green beans. And Try some of that pepper steak. I want to see what, how you like that. Mm. It won't stay on the fork. <laughs> yeah, use your finger. There you go. Did it fall off? Mm -hmm. It doesn't want to be eaten by your Michelle. I'm sorry. Okay, we'll try it. Go slow. Take, take All right. Two. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the most tenderest steak out of all our Chinese buffets. That is the tenderest wow. steak. Well, there you go. That's a good mark because we go to a lot. So when you say that that's one of the better ones, then that says a lot right there. Yes. Good job, Michelle. She's going for another piece. All right, go ahead. It must be good if she's already having another second piece. All right. Good job. Okay, this is my third plate. I went with the, the crab meat sushi over here. You can see that it's got like uh, some rice in there built into it. I don't know what that yellow thing is. Do you know what that is, Michelle? That Like a bamboo or something like that? <laughs> well, I'm sure it's edible, right? And then, um, then you got this concoction over there. That's like a fish skin on the outside, and that looks like a, like a crab meat on top. And then Michelle was going on and on about the uh, the ribs, the boneless ribs. So I'm gonna try one of those right now. There you go. I think it's a Shin's Pagoda cook. Check that out. There you go. Mm. Wow. Like Shin's Pagoda. That is good. 
real that's the highlight right now for me. You said that that steak thing was your highlight? Chin's pagoda. That is really good. And oh, how yeah. often do you see that on our Chinese buffets? No, you, don't. you don't. You see don't. It. That tastes like mm. Chin's pagoda, hands down. That was good. Now let's give this uh this I don't know what what that is. You guys know what that is? Put it in the comments. All right, I'm going to try it. Let's put a little bit of sauce on there. All right, here we go. No, no, it was good. Yep. It's good. It's edible, whatever it is. Okay. Now let's go back to this one over here. Well, you know it's got a lot of crab meat on it, right, Michelle? So it's got to be all right. Maybe a firefly uh, chef is here. All right. You ready? Okay. Good. And you know how I was saying Fuji had the string beans and everything and the butter wasn't mm -hmm. melted? They actually have olive oil on their green beans. Oh, really? Wow. It's really good that way, olive oil. It's better for you, too. Absolutely. All right. Yeah, I'm going to eat this one off camera, but yeah, these are really good. The, if you do come here to Royal Buffet, Get the boneless crab, the boneless ribs over here. Pork ribs, they're really good. You can see that up there. Okay, okay, this is a wide range of chickens, and they have the seafood donut back here. Aww. And that was an old standby at the old New Chinatown buffet, and they have it. It, it comes with like a like a. It looks like a donut, and it's got all oh, look at that all that crab meat and cheese. Mm. I think there's even some scallops in there too. It is really good. If it's anything like the one that they used to have, then I'm, I'm really excited about that one. But I'm going to give you a little taste test over here. We have the peanut chicken over here. And then the, this is like the wing ding, the breaded chicken over here. i got to try that for you guys on camera. And then the buffalo style chicken wing over here. All right, so let's get into it. Let's try the peanut chicken first. There you go. That's got peanut butter on there, believe it or not. All right. That's good. I like that. I eat peanut butter and jelly almost every day. And that's pretty good. It's got a little chicken to it. Very good. It's not overpowering. Okay, let's go with the chicken wing and see what that's like. You see that? You know, it's much better than the one wing that I had at Fuji. The one wings that I had at Fuji were very dry. This ain't so dry. It's pretty good. It's got a little crunch to it. All right, let's try the buffalo style wing. Let's find a good place for it. Right there, okay? Mmm. Wow. Yeah. That's got a little kick to it. I like that. Is it as good as Keystone Grill chicken wings? I ended up getting the um, the honey mustard over there at the Keystone. We did do a video on that one, but I actually, for buffalo style wing, Michelle, this is it's its own thing. You got to judge it by what it is. And this is a pretty good buffalo style wing. You're the wing man. And I, I, I'm definitely going to say out of the three chickens over here, this is the my favorite one right there, the buffalo style. It's, you know, it's got a little kick to it, but not anything that's going to make you, you know, freak out and put your head in a, a pile of snow. All right, let's go with this one here. Okay. Mm. That is good. What's wrong, Michelle? Are you all right over there? <laughs> That is good too. 
I'm glad we found the seafood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go stick my head in some snow now, okay, Rachel? All right. Very good. I'd like to get that on camera. Yeah, I bet. Okay, this is the final plate and uh, another standby that they always had at the old New Chinatown Buffet was, uh, I think these are like lobster, lobster on a stick or something like that. It's like breaded lobster. These have always been good whenever we would come here. And I end up going with one more chicken wing because you know how I like my chicken wings, especially. And then I did get a little bit of that crab meat uh, concoction over there. And Michelle is still at it with her black olives. She, she could eat that stuff, a, a whole can of it at a time. And she'd end up getting more of the pork ribs, boneless, of course. And, and then the seafood donut over there. Way to go, Michelle. You got the last one that was on that train. Okay. When there it's good, it's there was a guy that was coming over there, and you should have seen how sad he looked when you <laughs> took that final one. Way to go. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You snooze, you lose, right? Okay. All right, I'm going to give this one a try over right there. Okay. Mmm. Look at that. And this is all for lunch. Yeah. $10.99 for lunch. And I think it's like $12.99 or, or $13.99 $13 for dinner. So there you go. Good deal, too. And the drinks are only $2. You know, lately, you've been going to some restaurants, and they're charging you three dollars for a fountain drink and this is still two dollars so that was pretty good all right yeah th this is pretty good mm, oh yeah real good monday blues what blues there you go okay michelle was talking to me about how they have the ice cream set up here because uh it, you know because of the pandemic it's more sensible to have your own individual ice cream so you got what do you got here orange sherbet right there and then they have chocolate ice cream more orange sherbet and vanilla so they, it's not just one flavor but they got a nice wide range of of Hershey's ice cream over here and you know I don't know if you guys know me but I'm gonna go with two of the vanillas there you go not one two and that'll close out this video all right okay normally we do the outro outside the front of the building but it's too cold to be standing out there so I just told Michelle let's go in the car and talk about our experience from the car so what did you think of the Royal Grill Sushi Buffet out here in Sheffield Michelle it has made a lot of improvements and stuff that you haven't seen on a buffet mm. in a long time. It really hit the spot, especially those seafood donuts and the boneless ribs, because you don't find that anywhere. Yeah, the boneless ribs were a definite highlight. You said you, you, you like the, the steak and um, pepper steak. the pepper There's... steak that they had there. That was really good also. Nice and tender. I'm just glad it's back because, uh, you know, this would be a place that we would go to when we were either coming back from Michigan or on our way to Michigan. And then you got the movie theater over here. And then, you know, there's a lot of things to do around here besides just eating. So I'm kind of glad it's back because now we could group like today. We're probably going to go to Dave and Buster's and play some video games over there. So there isn't really much to see at the movie theater. We already saw you know, Violent Night, and that was a good movie, but uh, you know what, I'm waiting for Cocaine Bear to come out, right, Michelle? Yeah. Cocaine Bear, yeah. <laughs> okay, we're getting on the really weird side of right. 33. So there you go. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe to The Great Indoors. Thank you for being part of our family over here, and I'll look forward to seeing you guys in the next upcoming video. Love you all. Bye. Bye. Michelle is having a good old time playing Monopoly. Nice. Dave and Buster's, Michelle. You had a good time playing over here? Oh yeah. Better better than a slot machine or what? Yeah, but this gives me tickets. There you I'm go. Guaranteed tickets. There you go. Good job.